on guys welcome back to another video on the channel today's a special one only because I did a new uh, I did a new modification to the vehicle and obviously it's in the title already I'm just trying to make this a little bit more dramatic because I feel like it's really worth the hype Okay, so obviously as you read in the title, I installed a roar pedal. So if you guys don't know what that is, I explained a little bit about it in the old video. So pretty much what it is is that a bunch of new cars, they have a, a pretty much what it is, is uh, it, it increases the response timing from pretty much your pedal to your, to your engine. So in old cars, they said, from 04 and back what what got changed was back then it used to be just like a wire so it used to be just straightforward you push the pedal and then it opens throttle but now it's not like that no more now we're going through a system where it pretty much sends like a signal to get the throttle going but from 04 and up the majority of cars to at this point all cars come with that and they all have a lag they all have like a second sec like a half a second lag so I wanted to get rid of mine because I have a turbo and I, I'm trying to go full bolt-ons. I'm almost there. I feel like I feel like there ain't really much left to do, but I'm gonna keep going with the vehicle. Um, because the performance is awesome, the car takes it great, reliability is still amazing. I just wanted to see what was out there. So when I went on Instagram and I found this, I went I went ahead to go buy it, saw a bunch of reviews, but I just wanna had to go see it by myself. I wanted to see it for myself to see if it was worth the hype, if it's really worth the money. I only paid 150 for it. It was on special. You can you can probably pay 160. I think that's like the base price. I, only, I got like a ten dollar discount. It doesn't really matter. But what it is is this right here. So it's literally a plug and play. I have the wires tucked into this fender, this little plastic piece right here, all the way to the back. I don't know how much you guys can see because it is dark, but I have the wires back there. And it's a super, 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 super simple install. And this thing really makes your car a whole lot better. It doesn't give you horse horsepower numbers per se, but it does give you the instant torque, the instant power that your car has compared to you having to press the pedal all the way down. And as you're escalating your your uh, your throttle, it has a curve onto it on a dyno, on a dyno sheet. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have like a little curve so you don't have to feel the power at all times on every car and you also reserve for gas but with this thing it makes it shoot almost straight forward so instantly when you hit the gas you feel the performance and the cool thing is that if you don't like how torquey your car can be if you have full bolt-ons or you have you know uh, a v8 vehicle with a lot of power a lot of torque you don't want to feel it that instant you can change it to eco mode there's a uh, normal mode right now it's on normal there's also uh, a sport sport plus and then a race my favorite one by far is the race mode you get instant instant power instant off the back there's times where i only hit half pedal at a light and i get major wheel spin like it just starts hopping starts skipping like this car just really 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 wants to go now it, it's i feel like i added another whole tune to the vehicle like it really feels like a whole new tune and everything this this car right here everything is reversible that, that's the awesome part, the part I wanted to keep on this vehicle, but with everything I have now, and then with the roar pedal on top of it all, also removable, I mean, how much better can you get with this car, you feel me? So, what we're gonna do is put this on, uh, put it on race mode real quick, put the car on sport, and we're gonna give it about half gas. go crazy the exhaust go crazy that was all just a half pedal pull on the race mode this thing i don't really want to go through all the modes because i feel like eco makes your car slow just to keep it simple normal mode keeps it the same as what it was sport you start feeling it kick better more responsive sport plus obviously it's a way different improvement and in the race mode it's just a whole different vehicle I've seen people put it on a V6, uh, V6 uh, 300 or Challengers, and they said they felt like RTs. So when I put on a full bolt-on, semi-tuned vehicle, 
you still get that major performance. You still get that major improvement. I just don't have no car to really compare it to at this point because my car was already super quick and then now being how responsive it is, like let me let me see if I can just drop it down. Drop it down a gear real quick, maybe in second gear. And then we're gonna do a pull. So the performance, I feel like I can tap into it way, way, way quicker. If you guys are looking to get this, I really recommend you guys get this. This thing is incredible. It does change your exhaust note a tiny, tiny bit. Like, I don't know if you heard that in the cabin, but I got some wheel spin right there, and that was only like a 30% throttle. So this thing, I want to do, I want to do, let me see, let me just close the window real quick so we don't get no window noise. Take everything off, back to normal. And the cool thing is that you can change everything on the fly. You don't have to turn off your car. You don't have to put your car on park to change the mode. You can do the mode at any speed, at any moment, at any time and place. It doesn't matter. You can change the mode whenever you want. So if, I, if, so if I'm feeling like I'm low on gas, I can literally just punch it on eco or normal. I like normal better just to go back to normal. And I get, to tw I get the 27 to 28 miles per gallon. But when I pull it in a full race mode and I'm trying to feel like a little pedal happy, whatever, I get down to the 24s, 23s, which is a, a big difference. So you do lose, you do lose gas. That's something for sure. Because when you're on race mode, it's kind of hard to control because your car just wants to go so bad. So pretty much, yeah, that was it. Um, I still got the spark plugs coming in. They're already in, actually. My bad. Let me take that back. They're in. I have them at my house. I just wanted to do this install because I feel like it was a lot quicker and I've been really, really busy. We've been doing parties and then we've been going out a lot and I've been working. I work six days a week this week and everything slowed down a bit for the channel, but we're back at it with the roar pedal. I love the roar pedal. This is in no other way leaving my car. And if I'm getting a secondary car or when I get a secondary car, we don't know yet. Obviously, that's gonna get a roar pedal too. That's how much I love this thing. This thing is really worth it. If you guys want to get one, get one. Just get one. Don't even don't even say anything. It's it's cheaper than an intake, and it does way more than an intake. It does way more than an exhaust. It does anything better than any simple bolt-on? Besides, if you want to call a tune, a full-on tune, a, a bolt-on, it won't do as much as a full-on 50, 60, 70, 80 horsepower tune. But it certainly feels like it. It feels like it's a whole nother module to my car. And it wasn't something I was expecting. I was expecting something minor because I feel like I, I want to reach a peak already on customizing this car. So I don't uh, take away too much of the reliability. But this thing doesn't damage any reliability, works with any tune, any modifications you have currently done to your vehicle and just makes it that much faster. It makes it a big, a big improvement to, to the speed and acceleration. There's people who will get better quarter mile times I, I'm I'm kind of struggling getting the 0 to 60 time on it because it just wants to wheel spin a lot and my car's front wheel drive so I don't really have it on my side on that point but for anything else like a 20 roll, 30 roll, 40 roll, 50 roll, you name it, this car will launch and outperform whatever you have done to the car already. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just want to make a sim simple video on that and how much I really love it and how much I recommend anyone gets this thing whether you have a work truck anything anything it don't, even, it don't even matter how quick your car is or how slow your car is you can put this thing on a freaking prius there was a video there was a guy on instagram who said they put it on the prius and they got they got big number, they got big improvements so whatever you have you're feeling a little slow or you're feeling you're not that fast yet you can even put on a mustang challenger chargers i don't know if you want a hellcat who, who cares like you can put on anything this thing is ready to go it's awesome save you some gas on eco mode or just go for straight up performance on the race mode. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Spark plugs will be placing in soon. I have a video coming out pretty soon. So, stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you guys are interested in this rate and this roar pedal. Let me just put it on the screen real quick. And that's the NO for normal. And then you hold the menu button, the one with the M, and instantly you feel the car kick in. And you have to remember that number right there, the S SU9. And pretty much every mode from Sport, Sport Plus to Race, they all have their own uh, nine levels of uh, 
on sensitivity. So you can raise it up between 27 different modes, technically speaking, apart from the eco and the normal. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. Like I said, hit the bell icon so you guys don't miss any content. There's more content coming soon. So love you guys and peace.